Hey everybody, this is your daily dose of medicine and in this video we will be talking about vitamin B2 and specifically we will be talking about functions, deficiency and food sources. Right, let's get started. First of all, vitamin B2 is also known as riboflavin. It's involved in many processes in the body and it's necessary for normal cell growth and function. All B vitamins helps the body to convert food into fuel by food carbohydrates by fuel glucose. We are going to turn the carbohydrates to glucose and this process is used to produce energy. And these B vitamins often referred to as B complex vitamins also helps the body metabolize fats and protein so after talking about b vitamins now we can talk about clinical effects of vitamin b2 deficiency we have two things specifically seen in vitamin b2 deficiency the first one is chiliosis which is inflammation of lips with scaling at the corner of the mouth you can see from the first picture this is chiliosis and uh, it's scaling at the corner of the mouth. And the second thing is corneal vascularization, which is here. This is specific to vitamin B2 deficiency. And we have other symptoms, for example, sore throat, inflammation and redness of tongue, a moist, scaly skin inflammation, hair loss, and reproductive problems. And after talking about the problems, now we can talk about food sources. You can get vitamin B2 from dairy milk, yogurt, cheese, eggs, lean beef and pork, organ meats, for example, beef liver and chicken breast, lastly, salmon. And vitamin B2 two deficiency can cause some problems one of them are headaches all b vitamins help to protect from headaches but it's b2 that really stands out and where deficiency may lead to headaches b2 deficiency is important for headaches and it's also important for skin because it's helping the skin for mucus secretion thus preventing dryness that leads to oil production and therefore it causes acne so vitamin b2 deficiency can cause acne and vitamin b2 also improves zinc absorption zinc is also important for skin health so we can say that vitamin b2 is really important vitamin for our skin according to the american journal of clinical nutrition riboflavin is important to how the body processes iron we have a video about iron absorption you can reach from top right corner or link down below or without it research shows that the body is more likely to develop anemia so vitamin b2 important for absorption iron uh, processing so without it it can cause anemia iron deficiency anemia and vitamin B2 is also important for eye health. According to University of Michigan, this vitamin is needed to protect glutathione, which is important antioxidant in eye. And the U.S. National Library of Medicine reports that eating a diet rich in riboflavin can lower the risk of developing cataracts. This is an example of cataracts. So, if you take supplements, do not take too much as this might be harmful. Taking 40 mg or less a day of riboflavin supplements is unlikely to cause any harm. But in some people, riboflavin can cause the urine to turn a yellow-orange color. It may also cause diarrhea. So, this is the end of the video. If you liked it, please 
push that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And th thanks for watching. Take care.